but there we go. God, there we go. That's me trying to be fancy with my camera work. <laughs> we stacked it. We had a nice big fall there, but you can see that piece of flooring is fitting beautifully inside in that corner there. Uh, the thing is, the block wall isn't square. Um, it's out by, uh, I think I had to take about 15 mil off that um, sheet, and uh, but that's all right. Um, I got this brick wall done for nothing. My mates did it for free. How cool is that? So that's fitting in there beautifully now. Um, so the plan is now I'm going to notch this out so I can actually push this bit of flooring to meet that um, bit of black form ply. And as far as that black form ply is concerned, that is basically, um, I did this yesterday. I didn't record it, but I'll quickly show you what I did. You can see down the bottom there, that's just um, that's just um, framing pine that I've dyna bolted to the concrete slab. That concrete slab being the slab that is in the shop here, this you know corset shop of mine. But um, yeah, so that's dyna bolted and to that I actually screwed that bit of black form ply. And that is basically to hide the slab as well as to hide the, um, the dry dirt that is underneath it. And I'm quite happy using that form ply. I mean, that dirt, it's it's basically, it never gets wet. It's just dry. So that's a cool thing. And form ply, this will last forever. I was going to put some villa board or something between it, or even just use villa board, but this will be fine. I've got heaps of this stuff. So the plan is to carpet along the floor here to that black bit of form ply. Take it up the top of this form ply here, and then this will be covered here and so the carpet will come up and basically to the wall. So, awesome. So that's done. That took me a whole day to put that on, believe it or not. But um, I'm glad I've done that now. So now all I need to do, like I said, is notch out this bit of flooring so I can push this up to meet that. And that'll be apple pie. So um, the only dilemma I have is now that I've kind of built this it is 420 mil high this riser i catered for 400 i wanted it to be 400 but the reason i made it 420 i added i think i added an extra um 20 mil or something like that um obviously 20 mil um because i didn't ba i basically all i wanted to do when i was cutting you know chipping back this block wall you can see the top there there's half a brick well, there was half a brick along that retaining wall as well. And that's all I wanted to knock off. I didn't want to go down into the, the next brick and just knock off 20 mil. So that's the reason I just I just kept it so it's 20 mil higher. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what that's like. I'm pretty sure that'll be fine, but I'm just going to put, hopefully get this first layer done today. I don't think I'll cut the curve today. I will in this video though. But um, I'll basically put the first layer of flooring on and we'll probably just sit another layer on top. We'll also put some carpet and carpet underlay as well. Stick a couple of chairs on and I'll just make sure that I'm happy with that. But uh, if I'm not happy with it, if I want to go back to the, um, if I want to go back to the uh, 400, I can always just use one layer of flooring. You know, I'm having two layers of flooring like most, well, most people use with their home cinema riser. Well, a lot of the professionals and so forth, the people that have been doing it, use two. It probably is a bit better, so that's why I'm going that way. But if it if it turns out I don't I don't like 420 mil high, I'll just take one off and just use one. But uh, it's looking good. I'm really happy with my progress. So today I'm just going to do a mostly time lapse stuff and uh, get this thing on here and uh, see how it looks at the end of the day.
you a bit of a look. It's not the best bit of cutting I've ever done, but um, it'll be fine. That, that's not too bad. Everything's looking quite nice. So I'm going to start on this second sheet now. This is how far the wall is out. It's about just over 10 mil, I'd say, 10, 15 mil. So I've got to cut that off, get this in here then lob that end to make it consistent with that sheet and uh, just about there all right keep going This much done so far. It's only on temporarily, but um, yeah. So that's all I'm. I think that's all I'm going to do for the moment. I think I'm just going to go and grab some of those offcuts that I've been getting at the dump, stick them on top, and um, 
yeah maybe throw a couple of seats on top of that maybe a bit of carpet we'll see but um i'm happy with my progress but yeah i'm very happy with how this is looking though at the back here it's looking really good a slight the slightest little gap down there but, um, that's all right it's going to be covered with carpet strip and carpet so yeah pretty happy with how things are panning out looks really good all right let's keep going Check this out. <laughs> See how I've got the flooring pushed up hard against that vertical bit of black form ply. Have a listen to this. <laughs> awesome. How cool is that? Great. Another thing I have to fix. It's just me. It's just because I haven't supported this um, bit of flooring underneath just at that end there where that retaining wall I had to chip it off. So I'll put a bit of supporting under there, but I may even run a gap. You can see at the end here, this, see how there's a bit of a gap there? Um, it's just these two bits of timber rubbing against each other. And that's perfect. So I might even just put like a, a couple mil gap so it doesn't actually touch there. It doesn't matter at all. Um, yeah, and then the carpet can go straight in and straight up. Check this out. Where do you think I got my vacuum cleaner from? <laughs> you betcha, the dump. What do you think? How cool does that look? <laughs> all right, well, at least I've got two layers where the seats are, and that's all that matters, because basically I wanna put some carpet on there now, as well as the seats. I wanna put everything back to the way it's supposed to be. The front row has to go back, and at least tonight I can watch a movie and just make sure that I don't feel like I'm a little bit high. If I feel like I'm a little bit high sitting in this riser, I'll just pull out that, um, that second layer of flooring and I'll just go with one layer of flooring and yeah like I mentioned before I'm only doing this because my riser is now 420 mil high and it was supposed to be 400 and I know 20 mil doesn't seem like a lot but for us home theatre builders 20 mil can mean a hell of a lot so I'm just gonna kind of go with that I'm gonna fix this room up now and like I said stick some chairs up there and see how we go tonight. Cool. 
at least now I get to see what my what my chairs will look like with red carpet. Because seriously, I really like the look of red carpet in home cinemas. I just think it looks so good. I'm really happy that I keep a lot of these offcuts. These all come out of my mum and oh, this red came out of mum and dad's house. Held on to that because I was going to put it behind my screen, my acoustically transparent screen on the shelf. I thought that would look really nice in contrast with the rest of the black carpet on the ground. I thought the shelf for the, the speakers would look nice with that. But it looks like I'm not even going to have a shelf now. I'm going to do something completely different once again. But um, Yeah, cool. So that's okay. I'm going to clean this room up now and stick some chairs up there and uh, yeah, call it a day. Alright, let's suss this out. I love it. I mean, it's good. Honestly, I don't really see any difference in <laughs> with the 20mm. Although, I actually, I think I can see a little bit more of the floor, maybe. I'm not sure. I think these seats are actually pushed forward a little bit as well. They are. But, um... I mean, my eyes, if I'm looking at the 170 inch CinemaScope screen with the masking down the bottom, my eyes feel as though they're, al they're almost at halfway. They're not over the halfway, which is something that I didn't want to be. They're about, they feel like they're halfway or a little bit under. Um, in fact, if I recline a little bit, I'm definitely under halfway of the screen, which is a good thing. Um, so honestly, I think the two layers of flooring are probably a goer, but listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, take a couple of nights. I'm going to watch some movies. Um, in fact, what I might do is that corner chair over there is I might actually pull the second layer of flooring out from underneath that chair and just see if there's any difference. I don't think I'll notice the difference at all. You know, um, if I come over here and sit in. And that's the other thing, this chair actually feels a little bit higher. I think it's just got a little bit more padding in the chair itself, or it hasn't been sat on as much. So I automatically feel a little bit higher in this chair anyway, and I, I love it. I actually really do like this, this height, to be honest with you. So I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lock it in yet. I'll take two nights. But like I said, I'll take that extra flooring out from underneath here. I'll do that tomorrow. And, uh, but tonight I want to experience all these seats at two layers of flooring. <laughs> I feel stupid even talking about it. I mean, it's nuts. But like I said before, every centimetre when you come, when it comes to building a home cinema, a, a home cinema theatre, really count, you know. But yeah, that's the other thing. Let's suss this. Like, head height, you know. The sofa is right up here. I can easily walk under. I can easily walk underneath the um, the projector part here. There's heaps of head height. The ceiling. I mean, touching the ceiling. Easy, but it's not too low. So I think it's going to be. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take a couple of nights and, like, I do procrastinate a lot. But yeah. Anyway, listen. I don't know how these videos are going. I don't know if I've how long this has been so far for this video how i edit it but um i don't know if i'm going to finish this riser in the next in the next video or if i'll finish it in the next scene i doubt it i, I doubt i'll finish it in this video but if i 
L listen, I'm going to call it. Let's just finish it in the next video. We'll have to finish it in the next video. I, seriously. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.